The Ecovillage design cards are a tool that we've been developing in the past three years and they've grown from the experience of running the Ecovillage design education around the world. So working with Add my personal, I've, I've done a lot of research in the area of collective wisdom. I've written a book in German about the power of collective wisdom. Researching methods, you know, what leads us as communities not to meet around the lowest common denominator, but to go up to the level of collective wisdom. This, uh, this has been very deep research for me. And I've been sometimes in despair about how difficult it can be to bring a group of 40 people together, 50 people, and decide what are our next priorities. But also how difficult it is to invite people coming from the mainstream to understand what whole systems design is. You know, we tend to come from our educational background where either, you know, we're into organic agriculture or renewable energies or green architecture. I'm now speaking about ecovillage specialists, you know, conflict facilitation, um, economic design. And every person tends to think that their area is the most important area for survival. It's the first thing that we need to do as an ecovillage, yeah? So, Instead of understanding that we're all part of a map, we tend to come into, is it me or you who is more important? It's a tragedy, yeah? So the Ecovillage design cards were born to diffuse this tragedy and transform it into collective wisdom, yeah? Shorthand. So we use the cards on the one hand to like one design game that we do is to bring people with different cards that they draw randomly three cards from different dimensions together and say, which project would you design together? Yeah, say it's the card for renewable energy, a card for conflict facilitation, I'm just picking three now, and a card for a um, higher purpose, yeah? So they would say, what is the project that we would design together? And maybe they want to bring um, off-the-grid energy solutions to a traditional village. But because of the conflict facilitation card and the higher purpose, they immediately understand, oh, we actually need to have a conversation about local culture, how this might change local culture, how we need to integrate it with local culture. We immediately need to think about what conflicts could the incoming solar panels or whatever we're going to use create in the community? How are we going to use that? So it's tools to help people understand that whole systems design is crucial for the success of the design of any project in the whole. But also, one of the most, um, we can see how everybody fits in the whole with the talents that they bring to the table. So how everybody holds a piece of the puzzle. And we use it for a crucial design exercise, which is mapping the strengths, weaknesses, and what we call leverage points for a community. And this is just powerful. So within a, a, a session of two to three hours, three hours is perfect, yeah, but I've done it in two hours, going into an African village with two hours of time, with 200 people present, we've played this game or done this design exercise with the village. So people use markers to put down on the different eco-village principles where they see the main weaknesses and the main strengths of their community. And it's a, an amazing collective mapping exercise. It's very quick. Everybody is involved. It completely um, goes over the possibility that you know, of gender inequality in the village. Everybody gets their three markers, they put them down and it becomes visible. And we find that where otherwise people might have strong discussions about what is important, what is not important, because it becomes visible on the map, people don't argue with it. Yeah. And we can find the leverage points, those points that have intense attention from the community at that time. That is, it's not a scientific method, but it's, it's a measurement of where is the energy of the community. <clears throat> so for instance, in that African community, it was absolutely clear that the whole community wanted to focus on a borehole. They needed better access to water. And that was the very first thing, the women, the men, everybody was 
needing. The second most important thing was better access to education for the children. You know, they were clear and it was clear within an hour what was most important to them, you know, so then you don't need to come as an outside expert and speak for weeks and do a scientific study. The community knows what they need. Um, we also find that it changes every three months. So we can look at what or year, you know, it changes over time. So we can keep looking at what are the leverage points for the community at this point. We also, by the way, look at what are the blind points and what are the points where they don't put any markers that might be of great importance. So we can use the cards to have much deeper conversations, to take a conversation much deeper. We have an eco-village design that happens from the eco-village design cards where a community identifies what are our strengths, what are our weaknesses, what are the leverage points. And then they might invite a particular training that supports them to do the next step. about these cards is that however I saw you. So for me it is very interesting card to be in observation because I think for me I tend to engage actively. So I'm always engaged to act in it. We should. So, uh, uh, and then fake. I totally believe that you know. And if people are able to abide and nurture mindfulness and personal growth, then you will be able to engage stakeholders in all designs like coming together. So you, it's like we are a support system, right? A foundation and a, and a, and a blossoming of the foundation. So what I have to offer to you and to the group is going to help you fulfill your purpose. So each one of us, if we abide in our blessings completely, then as a collective whole, we will all have supreme potential growth. And then it's the center of your gem, right? All systems think. So we have to become whole as a group, and then there will be wholeness. Very profound. Very profound theory. Yeah. It's absolutely I love these cards. So gentle and so honest. Sitting, speaking. How does your body feel this morning? You feel relaxed. Maybe you want to move your. And then the next person that crosses your path. Person. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm going to speak about the Eco Village Design Principle card. Yeah. Does this card relate to who you are and what you bring? And um, I relate to it because I always wanted to have this uh, skill, but then I was too shy to like master this, or like I think that I don't have the confidence to be able to. And you this. swap roles. But uh, yeah, it's a sign that I'm here for this. And then the adventure for the angel card. No? So that's that's new. But it's telling me something that I didn't know all this while. Yeah. Can I do it? <laughs> Can I do it? Can I not? Should I get like an education? Should I go to college? I never used to be like this. The group What does it have to do with you becoming a trainer or deepening your skills as a trainer? My choice, none of them. I didn't have freedom anywhere to choose this thing. We'll meet one more person, so set off again. I feel like it's a lifelong 
journey, I feel like I need to always discover what it is. Always. Ecological person. Yep. And uh, the, the, in the world, is how it's happening now, climate change. So through this uh, ecology, I am trying to change. In this session, we're going to continue our work with the small eco-village design <laughs> principle cards. Um, that we did this morning where each of us drew one of the cards and we already looked at how does this speak to me, my intention, the talents that I bring to this group, to my community. And today what we're going to do is we're going to map the strengths and weaknesses of us as a group of trainers because we are the community we're here for today. We are this new circle that are going through the training of trainers and becoming trainers in GEN or GEN ambassadors. And we would love to know what are the skills and the qualities that we bring to the table. Also to see how can we share with each other, how can we inspire each other more. Yeah? We're going to be using the stones for areas that we feel a need, that we feel we have a weakness or we really lack knowledge skill, capacity, and we're going to use the lemons for the places where we're bursting with abundant knowledge, capacity, skill, where we feel we have something to share. Sometimes in our groups we have people who are so, bring so much humility to the table that they say, actually, I don't have any strengths to share. Yeah? We do not believe in this. So it's part of the rule of the game is that you put down three strengths and you put down three areas that you want to learn more in. And it doesn't matter what you have to share in the different areas, it counts, yeah? So those are the rules of the game. And you're invited to stand up, pick three, pick three lemons, Pick three stones. You can put one lemon or one stone on a card. And you pick three different cards to put on your stone, three different cards to put on your lemons. There's some freedom, like sometimes you can put a weakness and a strength on the same card. Yeah? This is possible. Yeah? Don't forget about the whole system design cards at the center. They're as much a part of the game as the dimensions. Three stones, three lemons, six in total. Enjoy. Is, lemon, is it like lemon is strength? And lemon is strength, stone is weakness. Stone is me, lemon is asset. Stones and lemons. <laughs> And we can see our strengths a lot more easily than our weaknesses. Which I'm not sure whether that's symbolic, because in my experience, in our circles at least, people are actually usually more focused in on their weaknesses. I would invite us now to come into groups of three, yeah, just to get everybody involved again. Um, and maybe the question of, so what would you say is a leverage point? for us as a group of trainers. What should we be focusing on? Um, I'm originally from Brazil, but uh, now I live here. Brazil? Brazil. Yeah. And then creating um, eco ecology, isn't that our strongest point? Uh, the doing of the leverage point. I don't know. It could change. Yeah. So that's what I want. The base. So, and people are interested in this thing. So, exactly. Understanding how an eco village can be something that really. Who wants to have a date? The first person. Okay, great. But we need one person at a time. So, Florence, start. Which area? We construct the concepts of wealth, work and progress. Fantastic. You have a weakness there. Who has a lemon there and is willing to meet with Florence? Who put a lemon on reconstruct concepts of wealth? Yeah. Florence and on 
Dunn Bar. Please get together and decide when you're going to have a meal. Who's got a lemon on build networks across all divides and is willing to have a conversation over a meal with me about this? Kavita, cool. Moon and Kavita, please get together. Make your date. Okay, Who's next? There, yeah? There are no lemons in wherever I put my stones. <laughs> Same. There's no lemons. Okay. We'll have a special we'll have a special date for you. No, have a special same. date. I have the same. There's only one. Just to say, if you see Prema and Pramod sitting together and you also put a stone there, you could ask them whether you might join. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe they want to be private, but you yeah. could ask. Yeah. <laughs> Double dating. Okay, great. Yeah. Happy to have that conversation. Great. Cool. You can see the happiness between people. Yeah. So, who put a lemon there? Carmi. Wonderful. Generate well being through all for all through economic justice. And somebody actually put a lemon there. I'm so proud of this person. <laughs> Who is this lemon? Priyam. Very good. Very good. We have a lot of same-sex states in this <laughs> course. <laughs> I was just going to ask if there will be another opportunity for the dating. Well, I mean, one thing is that I'd love you to continuously date all the time about any topic that you're interested in. So from now on, every moment is special and a special opportunity. Whether you have a coffee with someone, you have a meal, whoever you meet, you're actually having a date with. Yeah. And you can follow your very special interest with that person and really look at what is the highest potential for this conversation right now and just go for it. So we'll have a continual dating <laughs> fest for the rest of the course, okay? Why did I draw this? We're assuming that there is a deeper reason why we draw this, that in Oroville nothing just happens by accident. <laughs> it's synchronicity that this card came to me. So even if it's a message that you find difficult, you know, why do I draw this? It's not the area that I'm working on or something. Let's go deeper, let's explore. So just take a moment together to explore. Um, I'll give you three minutes per person and you can all, all gong in the middle. And you can see as two whether you just want to have a conversation or you want to have a think and listen where one person is quiet and then the other. It's not hard. I'm very impressed that he's not a single word. How did you reconnect? Why did you? What does it mean? Is that okay with going to draw a card. I'm just going to put them very, um, maybe I'll put them on two sides. Oh, they're not so well mixed yet. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And this time we're going to be drawing a card for what we want to bring to our community. To the community that Sonia was just speaking about. Where when I'm on the ground in the <coughs> all the communities, all the well-meaning. Whenever you feel ready, you can stand up and draw a card. Yeah, and then you run into two other people. So you come together as a threesome. So you have a task. As a group of three, you're going to come up with a project idea that is really important for Jen. Yeah? It could be for the communities on the ground, a solution that everybody should be implementing. It could be for the network as a whole, something that we really need to learn. It could be for Genoa, something that is super important. But as a group of three, you're going to come up with a project that integrates your three parts. That is the task, and you have seven minutes to solve it. You can just say this way also. Yeah, it's falling down.
roots an equal and good education and health care for all our children. We practice conflict resolution, good communication skills and peace building so that with the branches we cultivate fair decision making and then the power participatory leadership and good governance. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing in a solid foundation, developing fair, effective, accountable institutions. I am complete, diverse, thriving community. <laughs> of economy is capital. Oh. Here you go. Thank you very much. Well-being. Wow. Well. That's what I'm looking for. Equality. I would say prosperity. Something's missing. Sustainability. Whoa. <laughs> This sounds complete. This is abundance. <laughs> Donating the money. <laughs> <laughs> so much food we need people to come and eat it and that's why with the waste of the food the people build their own houses near the farms wow. so it started increasing our biodiversity <laughs> <laughs> 